Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys for the love and support. Thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. Guys, it's a dream come true. We have been waiting for so long. But you know what? Good things take time. And also, God's time is the best. Thank you so much guys for the love and support to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Guys, you know what? In Africa right now, especially in East Africa, especially if you go to the border of Kenya and Tanzania, at the moment you'll find so many safari cars, so many, so many, so many, so many safari cars. A lot of tourists, especially from outside Africa, are flocking East Africa, going to Masai Mara, going to Ngorongoro, going to all the national parks in East Africa ready to enjoy the great migration of the wild beast. So I'm really ce celebrating Africa because trust me, Africa is one of the best, best countries to really uh, visit and come and enjoy, come and explore Africa. And also for me, I've never been to the uh, national park. I've never been to Masai Mara. I've never, I've never even seen a wild beast, but I believe one day I'll go there. So today I just wore this to to uh, advertise Africa and also the beauty of Africa. When you go to the uh, uh, the border area, especially it's called Isibania or Sirare, you'll find a lot of cars at the moment <clears throat> and they are ready to come and explore. And also I mean, I'm, uh, I'm also encouraging more of my African brothers, African brothers also. Let's, let's take up this moment uh, and also appreciate our wildlife, appreciate our our heritage, our culture. So today I just decided to put this on so that I can also feel uh, part of the tourism. So Africa is one of the most beautiful places. Come visit the game parks. You'll see lions, you'll see uh, zebras, you'll see elephants, you'll see uh, wild bees, you'll see antelopes. There's so much that Africa has to offer. So guys, today is a special day also for me. I'm celebrating 30 thousand subscribers and this is a video dedicated to everyone who has been subscribed to my youtube channel everyone who has uh, been watching my videos everyone who shows us to love and also everyone who appreciates life and stays positive yeah i know there are so many challenges in this world there are so many negative to, to talk uh, things to talk about in this world but at least once in a while celebrate life enjoy life don't be all the side all the time you're busy 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 uh talking about other people's life let's appreciate life let's appreciate the good life that god gave us and celebrate it today i'm celebrating 30,000 subscribers i'm celebrating from our beautiful beautiful home although no one is here the my beautiful wife miss flair was around we were with her we did an amazing video today we were actually installing Annette in our beautiful uh, home or rather in our beautiful house she went to the border town brought this beautiful net I'll be showing you that in a short while but if you want to see the whole video where we were trying to fix this uh, amazing net you know in Africa uh, let me say in Kenya I don't know let me say also in my village we have so many mosquitoes a lot of mosquitoes and they spread very serious malaria so at least it's always recommended that uh, you sleep under a treated mosquito net. So today we took that initiative and also uh, set up the net. And also we have good news. We have reached the lentil level of our outdoor kitchen. Guys, I'm super excited. I'm really excited. So these are the remaining uh, construction materials or the stones uh that we have been uh, using so some we used in the outdoor kitchen so these are the remaining materials so i believe now henceforth these ones will not be used anywhere so this will be for for our dream house uh also that sand won't be used we'll only use uh i believe a little a little of this especially for putting the top slab and also for plastering inside you know this uh this store that we have built or rather this outdoor kitchen that we have built it's very different compared to uh the main house that we had built somewhere there so this one doesn't need uh plastering so we'll be doing some king it's called king the day that we'll be doing them i'll be showing you how we do how we do this and also guys i did uh, a small research especially for uh, the installation of this uh tank so i want to pass some 
some small knowledge maybe there's someone out there also who has uh, who wants to know what does it take to build an outdoor tank i did a lot of research especially yesterday i think i have some notes inside so let me quickly go and take the notes so that i can uh, read them to you <laughs> so that we can know so this is uh, we did the foundation we did the setting of the blocks we did uh, these pillars i was uh, as we were constructing i was also doing some small research so let me go get the the book so we have some darkness here <coughs> we have already locked the door I don't know if we left the book here i had a book i had a I had a very good book here that i wrote some notes yeah it's here this notebook sorry guys we have some darkness this notebook i was given by mercy empire you can kindly go check her out subscribe to her uh, her youtube channel she does amazing delivery of uh, east african cables these are the cables that we also used in uh in uh, doing the wiring of our house i would really recommend to the people that have uh, tried to to recommend to her most of them tell me hey nasto the wires that uh, you recommended to us most of them we have used them uh, uh, most of them that we have used are very very good we have really uh, enjoyed the cables yeah guys but before i, I even go into uh, details of this Guys, you know, <laughs> this world has really turned so wicked. This world has really turned so, so wicked. Especially, guys, yeah. Uh, I know maybe some might not like what I'm going to say. Some might uh, find it uh, the other way around. Trust me, <laughs> it's lonely at the top. And uh, a lot of people will really fight you. Just try, wherever you are. Be up there and you'll see how many people really try to pull you down. I really feel so bad, so bad uh, that a lot of people with even bigger channels are really trying to fight uh, our brother Ayamarwa. And uh, I, I really don't know. A lot of lies are being spread out there. So many lies. Even people who know that that is the truth or uh, what they are saying is pure lies. Guys. Well, I don't know the whole story, but there are some things that, uh, for example, if you come into my compound and I tell you, hey, you have to do this, this and that. Uh, there are things that you can't do in this compound. There are things that you can't do. So if you do what I tell you that you can't do this, and then tomorrow I come and say, I told you not to do this. I believe in even, even the people who are watching these videos, uh, no, even in your own homes, you have rules, you have rules. For example, at Mara's place, maybe if he tells you, hey, don't record a wall if it has fallen down before you tell me, don't move this stone from this place. There's a reason why I put it here and put it there. Tomorrow, if I come and find that you have removed this stone and I tell you, hey, my friend, I've been telling you so many things not to do them in my home. Then you go out there and now say, Nasto is, is a bad person. Please, let's be human. Uh, that is what I really want to say. Uh, and uh, there are so many things, guys, that sometimes when I look on the internet, I feel like, oh my God, why are all these people fighting just one simple person? Yeah, why can't they say the good things that uh, he has done? When he tries to help someone, people will just try and turn it the other way. These days, even some of us are afraid of even doing videos where we want to help other people. Because they will turn it the other way and say, hey, Nasto now has started uh, stealing from other people. Guys, uh, it's really heartbreaking. And also some, uh, what really breaks my heart sometimes is the fact that some of you viewers, some of the people who watch our videos are really enjoying <laughs> when someone is being hurt or are really enjoying when Yabo Hansi village is being, uh, is being fought. And uh, another bad thing that I also heard from someone, he was talking about uh, Maro encouraging outsiders to come and buy land in our village. Trust me, Kuria is a very big community. Kuria is a very big, we have so much land in Kuria. Just look up there, we have plenty of land. 
we have plenty of land and Africa is so big and we have freedom of movement we have freedom of you can go and buy land anywhere me I invite all investors all anyone from all over the world who wants to come and buy land in Yabuhansi you're very much free because those people don't want development in Yabuhansi village they are so jealous that this village is growing if people come just go at the border town guys you will see we have people from all over all the communities in Kenya they have come there they have invested and 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 that place is really growing and uh, these videos that I make I don't make them for people who are just from Nyabuhansi village that person who is saying that uh, people should not come and invest in Nyabuhansi or should not come and buy land in Nyabuhansi then they should restrict their audience or their videos not to be watched by people from all over the world they should lay, they should say please if you're from outside Nyabuhansi village don't watch my video because I don't want you to support me in my in the growth of my channel my channel here has has it's not a big channel but it has uh, viewers from all over the world and I appreciate them I will not make it in life if I will only say hey only Kenyans should watch my channel this world has really changed and we have to change with it. For me, I will be very, very happy if my village here is, uh, is, uh, is uh, occupied by so many people from outside the world because they will bring new farming technologies, they will bring new developments, they will bring new building technologies. Like my brother out there is married to an island lady. We have never seen an air house in our community. But when she came here, she brought the idea that, oh, an air house can be built in Yabuhansi village. Even me, I never knew that one day I will build a house that has, a, has an open kitchen. When I traveled to Mombasa, that's when I, I went there and knew, oh, so this is how people are building. And I came and built it here. Look at the villa, it's very big. Our minds were even opened that anything is possible. You can build, you can have any kind of a dream. So please, 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 as you watch and support Nyabuhansi YouTubers, please, let's try to encourage them to grow. Let's not uh, bring, uh, bring, how do I call it? Bring enmity between uh, this person and this person, this person and this person. Please, especially to the youth of Nyabuhansi, let's come together and, uh, and uh, rebuke this uh this spirit of of uh, separation for me the other day someone came in my compound and recorded a video I was not here i didn't know that he was doing a video if he had told me or asked for permission then i will blame myself because maybe i accepted or i denied i ah uh, guys 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 sometimes it uh, it really hurts me and i know some people tell me hey nasto stay out of this but sometimes guys sometimes uh, it's not that I'm defending uh, Marwa or I'm afraid of Marwa or uh, I'm like, uh, no, when I, when I see a wrong thing being done, I, I know, even in my spirit, I know this was wrong, this was good. So please, guys, please, guys, let's stop the lies. Let's stop uh, trying to bring someone down just because you know that if I talk about this guy, I will get views. I will, please, if, if, if you are sure that what you're saying is true don't monetize even that video <laughs> yeah because now you're preaching like a pastor don't monetize it that's when now you know that whatever you're doing you're really fighting for the right cause but as long as you're making money out of uh, that video that you're trying to tell lies from someone then uh, you're really doing a, a very wrong thing even before god but anyway, guys, today is a celebration mood and I don't want to really break that, uh, that happiness that I have in me. So let's go back to what we were supposed to talk about. But some things really hurt, really hurt, really hurt. Yeah, they really hurt sometimes so much. And also, uh, you people should show us at least, at least even one person that you have tried to uplift, even in your village, even in your home. At least one person, one day show us even your, 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 your siblings and tell us, hey guys, I've tried to assist this person. Hey guys, I've tried to open a channel for this person and his life has changed this way. For me, my life has changed so much, guys, you can see. I never knew that one day maybe even Nasto can be sitting here, maybe just talking about uh, 
this place, we have a home here. A lot of lives have been changed, a lot of houses have been changed. Nyabohansi, trust me, this area here used to be a very big bush, very big bush. But through the uh, introduction of YouTube in this community, life has been changed. But no one is talking about all that. I've never seen a channel at least saying, hey, Nyabohansi village, uh, this guy has done this. Uh, these lives have been changed like this. All they, all they look for is negativity, negativity, negativity. Yeah? I might not be an angel, but sometimes uh, I really feel bad when uh, I watch even a video of someone just telling lies and lies and lies. Just because maybe they know that if I tell this lie, I will gain favor maybe from uh, other people. I've been hearing that some people have, have even set uh, a lot of finances just trying maybe to pay other people to bring someone down. Uh, content creation for me trust me when i joined uh, youtube <laughs> when i joined youtube when i opened up my youtube channel my main goal main thing that i knew about youtube was creating content that can can inspire someone somewhere that can uh, show someone somewhere can educate someone somewhere maybe you can know how how we, we lay foundation how in our villages, how we build our houses, how we install even ceiling boards, how we install gypsum boards, how how we solve uh, uh, the flood things. That is what I knew about YouTube. But now things are really changing. YouTube has become somehow something toxic, and uh, People are now, for example, if you do a good video talking about maybe how you farm, people don't watch that. But if you do a video that you abuse someone, you talk ill about th uh, someone, people now jump into that video. It's really, really heartbreaking, guys, that now this is what uh, YouTube is turning into. It has now become uh, like war. Some even threatening others that they are going to finish their lives. Please, let's go back to God. Let's go back to God and, and pray and say, uh, whatever we are doing is is really not not right. Some people have really dedicated some channels into they don't even show about their lives anymore. They are, they are now talking about someone's life at least once in a while. Take us even to your homes. Show us what you do. Show us how even food is cooked. Show us how Africa, how beautiful Africa is. For me, yesterday I met a very nice channel. It was uh, trying to uh, tell people to relocate to Africa and uh, show them that Africa is not what we used to think uh, is. Those are the kind of uh, videos that we also we want to, uh, to show. Even me, I've never traveled, but it's because I have that fear uh, of traveling, of the unknown. But I try so much every day at least to put some information out there and show maybe the youths, this is how we can do things. I'm not perfect, but at least I don't try to, to put someone down. Because I always believe that that person's position was set there by God. No man can uh, can bring you down from your position. Yeah? And please, as you watch our videos, let's try to spread positivity. Let's try to encourage uh, the youth. We have so many problems, problems in Africa to deal with. Rather than just fighting people. We have floods. We have hunger. At least dedicate your channel some days. Go to even a children's home. Take for them food, take for them clothes. Like for the uh, content creators maybe in Nairobi who are taking their entire times to talk about Nyabohansi village. At least once in a while, maybe every Sunday, dedicate your channel so that we can know that you're the angels and maybe Nasto here is the devil. Uh, dedicate your channels at least. If you don't have maybe to ask for money, take even your own money. Go out there, go to the streets, feed the street children, put put food on their tables, put smiles. Rather than from day one of January to the last day in December, all you have to spread is talking about someone. Talk, yes, I know YouTube allows that, but at least also show us that you are a good person that you claim to be. Go out there, uh, show, show people love. <laughs> Because you're saying some people are bad, at least show us how good you are. We have prisons, we have uh, people dying with hunger in northeastern. We have, at least take for them food there. Yeah? Guys, please. 
I know uh, today I'm somehow hungry. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for me, I knew YouTube was uh, a very good space for showing love. But I'm finding it uh, somehow really hurting to just see every day just hate being spread. People taking their time to hate on people, hate on a community. Yabuans is a very nice place and we welcome all whether you're Korean, whether you're born in this village whether you're born out of this village you're very much welcome to come and invest here leave alone those people who are saying that ah this person is not from this community trust me even the Korean community even we in the Bantu community even us I'm a Bantu we came from Congo <laughs> so if we say that uh, we are not from this community then we are supposed to go back to Congo yeah even the people who are maybe out of Africa there and, and are encouraging people that, hey, fight this person. Maybe you are not even born in that country, but you, you went there, they showed you love, they gave you a passport, they gave you a visa. So try also to be as lenient as the person who accommodated you rather than maybe fighting someone because maybe it doesn't come from that community. It really hurts me so much. Anyway, guys. Let's go back to some small lesson. Today I have a lesson that uh, I've written so many notes here about the installation of the underground, uh, the top tank. You know, we have two different ones. We have one which is metal. We have one which you can decide to build pillars using concrete. <laughs> I hope guys you're back to the mood, back to the learning mood. So number one, the title is written, Building a Water Tower. Number one, Design and Planning. You have to determine the capacity, especially the capacity that your, your tank is going to have. For us here, uh, we tried to build uh, a house that can hold 3,500 liters. So you have to uh, choose a suitable location, which has to be higher than your house, you see. And uh, also, uh, you have to design the tower so that it can not be affected by environmental conditions, so, such as wind, such as... Uh, that's why... At least when you build uh, and you put the tank on top, that is our top tank, you have to surround it using metals. So number that was the design and planning. Number two, you have the foundation construction. You have to excavate and prepare the foundation. I believe you saw that. You make the pillars and the holes. <laughs> uh, pour concrete, lay a slab. We did that. with a, We have now a very strong foundation. Number three is the tower construction. You have to use materials such as steel, especially for those people that are going to use maybe steel. And for the pillars, you have to use a lot of... Uh, we have the D12 or the D16 because those are the recommended ones for constructing a, a top tank. So another one, uh, huh, install the tank on top, uh, ensure proper sealing and insulation, especially now when after putting the slab, because now that's where the, the tank is going to sit. You have to use waterproof and stuff like that. And also you have to remember that you have to get uh, at least an engineer. Especially that is the main reason why I also uh, got my cousin who is a, a qualified engineer. At least to support us in giving us ideas here and there. So that we build something that is uh, stable. So we are done with this book. <laughs> Guys, let's celebrate 30,000 subscribers. Uh, 30,000. It's been a long journey. It's been like three months, three years, three years ever since I started my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm really grateful for today. Uh, these three years have really taught me so much. Attaining to 30,000 subscribers has really taught me so much uh, because I've seen it all. Uh, people have, we, we started with some people, some gave up on the way, some uh, never continued with the journey, some took breaks. Some stopped completely, but some are still continuing. And what I've really learned about uh, this thing or this journey is never let ego get the better out of you. Like, be you. The same person that you started from the beginning, even up to you get a million subscribers, just be the same person, especially on uh, social media things. Never change, never despise anyone. You might start with someone today. You, you, uh, you could uh, blow up and maybe they are stuck. One day they could even pass you. So YouTube or social media 
it doesn't mean that maybe today if I'm 30,000 subscribers and someone is at 1,000, that I will always be on top. No. One day they will pass me. The other day I will go up. So the best thing is not don't compare yourself with, uh, with other people. And also you have to enjoy what you're doing. Never let anyone, anyone push you. Like, hey Nasto, you have not uploaded a video today. Hey Nasto, why are you doing this? Hey Nasto, be your own motivation. That is the biggest thing. Never let anyone uh, push you like... You have to upload a video. You have to do this and that. You have to do... No. You have to push yourself. You really have to love what you're doing. Sometimes, even today, I was not planning on doing a video. But I said, hey, at least let me just upload a video. Because uh, this is my daily life. And I love what I'm doing. So that's why I'm here. And also, number three, you have to respect your audience. Because I believe there are some people out there who have subscribed to our channels and maybe they are always scrolling their phones saying, hey, where is Nasto? Why, does, why has Nasto not uploaded a video today? Hey, we want to see something from Nasto. So uh, you're our family and once you're on social media, you have to remember that you have a family behind you that at least want to see the progress, want to learn something from your channel. So you have to be there. To dedicate your time to try and uh, do videos here and there so that you don't uh, keep people waiting so and also you have to remember that youtube is a journey you will never blow up maybe in one day maybe one in a million people i even saw uh, a video of mr beast that he had put after five years he said i think it was after five years he did a video and put it on private and said maybe after five years i will be I don't know if it's five years or one year i will be in one million sub subscribers so you have to believe that next year december i believe i will not be in the same position that i am there's room for growth and by growth it's a step by step step by step one one step at a time and that's how you will you will grow to achieve uh, higher higher heights and also you have to believe that also youtube you have to do some small research uh, there are so many challenges on social media you have to be very uh, very strong-minded <laughs> because even this video i believe maybe some people will use it to attack me but you have to be ready for that you have to have a strong mindset that is what will keep you moving social media to some they use it to uh to spread their frustrations and they want to channel their anger into attacking maybe maybe other people maybe through comments through uh, different platforms so you have to be very much ready for that so this is our house we have already reached at the lentil level so tomorrow is sunday we will not be uh, constructing it so on monday we'll now be tying the pillars and also filling uh, these ones, so the blocks, we only build them in two days. So also inside, like you've seen, some of the remaining, uh, some of the remaining uh, soil or sand, we are just using it here because inside the house, it will be plastered. Outside, we'll be drawing the, the keys. That's why as we build, we are trying to make these spaces here. So that we'll just do the keys and also here we'll use cement to uh, cover this so it will be very beautiful something like uh, that so this is our outside uh, kitchen at least it will be helping us in a lot of things uh, especially for our house here so today i'm so much excited also inside <laughs> we have uh, i'm celebrating 30,000 subscribers by showing you that also today let me try and uh, put some light yeah, also today, guys, we have uh, finally installed uh, the kitchen, uh, this kitchen, uh, how are they called? The kitchen handles, you can see, guys. All these have been installed today, you can see. So we only need to do maybe some cleaning here and there. But a really good job has been done. We will do the, the cleaning. Yes, you can also see this side also, the handles have been uh, installed so here it will only remain like like this because of the sink uh, we did not have any other way of maybe uh making it so that's why you see it's just suspicious like that 
So here we can be keeping maybe things like this. We don't know. We don't know what we'll be keeping them there. But this side, because you see this side was very big. So he had to partition here. At least so that we can get uh, a drawer. A drawer on this other end. So so that is, uh, is it. So this side at least, it has that. So here, uh, he will work on this tomorrow. And also here, we are going to put the 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 drawers now so the drawers are what will be installed on this other side so tomorrow is sunday on monday i believe now we we'll start working on the on the drawers uh but guys i'm really sorry if i've offended someone with uh with uh, the words that i've said because you know guys it's too much sometimes sometimes it's uh, really too much and since we are on social media sometimes you just have to talk about uh, what bothers you so also for our bedroom let me just take you in so today miss Fle did an amazing amazing job that is what she has done she has set the net inside our house so uh, you can kindly go check it check the video on miss Fle's channel where we were doing everything showing uh, everything but today's video we are celebrating 30,000 so Kindly comment on the video down below. Say congratulations, Nasto. Congratulations, Nasto. And also, uh, we'll be doing maybe a live stream tomorrow to celebrate <laughs> also 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. So, guys, thank you so much. Today's video is going to be somehow short. I don't want to bother with a lot of things, but I really appreciate your love and support. And thank you for 30,000 subscribers. Bye bye.